Hello, I'm Flinty and you're watching a let's play of Abduction. You read it right, it's Abduction, not Abduction. Um, a game made by Cyan Worlds and Cyan Worlds, we all know of the game Mist. They made the game like uh, in the early 90s, I think it was, 1994. And I certainly played it way back, not in that year, but somewhere in the 90s. The um, <clears throat> game received prestige for their graphics um, the game was very hard though it wasn't a first person adventure game uh, the graphics were insane back then uh, the puzzles were insane as well insanely hard you didn't know really what to do the story was not presented obviously uh, so you had to figure it out by yourself and later the studio made also uh, Riven um, I forgot some of the other titles. I think someone with the letter U. <laughs> forgot how it was named. Uluru or something. I don't know. And I think there were some sequels to Mist, Riven. Yeah, I, I think I named that one before. Um, and this is finally the, um, the next game from the studio. The developer has been around a long time. And uh, I think this was a Kickstarter abduction. And what can we expect from this game? I think... The same kind of gameplay you know from Myst. I've read somewhere that the puzzles are a little less hard, but that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean like the game is easy. Um, but yeah, it has the same mystique and, and mystery to it as uh, the Myst games. Um, I don't know much about the story. We'll just have to see what's going on. But there aren't many clues. It's not like a narrative-driven game. Um, I don't think you can also compare it you can't also compare it to games like uh, The Witness. The Witness came out, I think, at the beginning of this year. But that was that game was very puzzle-oriented. And I think this game will be more um, exploring. And there will be some, some story in, involved. And we'll just have to find out what that is. Um, and what can you expect from me for playing this game? I intend to finish this game. I will bring you like around 20-minute episodes. I think on a daily basis and yeah, we'll just see how uh, we soldier through it um, I have a I'm not going to say a ton of experience in playing adventure games but uh, I do have a lot of experience playing them that doesn't mean that I'm very smart <laughs> playing those games um, I can figure out a puzzle or two but I might be stuck and I can't promise that I will be um, doing this all out of my head but uh, that means if I really get stuck I will go check it out on the internet what the solution is but it has to be I have to be really stuck to uh, actually do that so let's just hope we uh, can power through it um, yeah this game is released on PC you can pick it up uh, from Steam I'm playing it with the Xbox controller but it doesn't really work in this menu uh, so I'm just going to click it and um, the settings are I think on high I hope my uh, my rig can uh, can um, can can run that there's also a, a epic set epic graphic set but um, I don't think my computer will handle that properly so yeah I've talked enough let's uh, start the game and see what they came up with this time the game name I think it would be abduction, but let's just call it my YouTube name, Flinty. Yeah, this uh, this little element I found in the the settings already. You can select free roam or point and click, and point and click is like the old kind of uh, gameplay you would expect from Mist. But I think I'm going to go free roam. I think that's more modern, and that's just the default setting. So, character shadow. I th let's. I think it's the default is off, so let's uh, leave it off. And um, let's play. And we are inside the game. Now I had to cut something out because apparently uh, when I st uh, started to... Uh, when I started a new game <clears throat> and I entered my name and I hit play and then the loading screen came. It actually uh, was stuck there for like three minutes. And I had to uh, look uh, look it up how to fix this. And apparently I could 
fix it by changing the language from English to French or maybe another language works as well uh, but yeah I've read that some people have the same problem and when you try to start a new game uh, it just stays stuck with the loading screen and then the game never loads in so um, yeah at least now I can change it back to English right away and we can finally play the game now I'm playing with controller again um, these are high graphical settings I remember missed uh, that the game was like considered photorealistic graphics and you can actually see the little bit of resemblance in here um, so yeah okay we start over here there's nothing to it there's no cutscene no nothing there's a thunderstorm it's not raining you can hear the crickets it's full moon and we can walk is there something like a menu no this is it this is the menu so uh, okay let's just walk we all lost everything everything but our stories and they shouldn't be forgotten I was three it was April of 1983 Cecil it was 1870 for you Pam and Vera you tell it like it was yesterday but it's been 62 years since you saw that last of light like fireworks so some kind of narrator whoops there's a light fire actually you know what I'm just going to try and set the, the graphics a little bit higher see what we can do with epic let's see how it runs let's apply it and see a difference yet there's a barbecue I guess we have to walk towards the fire and let me just lower the volume a little bit so I can hear myself a little bit better uh, like this all right Light. That's where all of our new stories began. It streaked across the sky, mesmerizing, but unnerving. Even in daylight, Joseph, you said it was gloriously bright. But in the twilight, it was spellbinding. Whether it was in the deep woods like Cecil or right outside town like Jane and Jenny, we were drawn to see more. Vera, you said you were all smiling. Some of you were alone. I wasn't. My dear grandma, God bless her, rejoiced as if it was some forebearer of good fortune. Grandma lifted me from the carriage on the porch and walked into the yard so we could watch it unobstructed. So an interesting story is already evolving. It also reminds me of uh, Firewatch a bit. Let me just lower the volume a little bit more. I don't know if you know uh, or played Firewatch. I played it on my channel, actually finished it. Something about a, a firefighter in a forest. Can we pick stuff up? Is that something we can do yet? Not really. Um, so who lit this fire? We follow the hiking trail. None of us understood. But, well, we followed. And we all felt some kind of trepidation, and yet attraction. So we approached it and You all remember, there was no turning away. Oh no. It advanced, almost like purposefully spinning slowly until, well, found. 
around us, each of us. We should tell these stories because it, it saved us and And that's the introduction to abduction, which is very interesting. I think it's a uh, great narrative to start off the game. Little mystery, little alien anomaly that transports us to a new world. I've read that in the description. Um, do we move around yet? Oh, okay, we can move around yet. With all these fireflies okay my game is a little bit stuttering let's just see how the transition will be to the new world so far so good it runs pretty smooth still uh, okay so now we definitely have teleported somewhere I'm not sure who we are uh, I'm not sure if we ever find out. I think it's just the player, us. This is the uh, the thing that um, teleported us. Seems a little bit dead now. All right, a lantern is still here. Well, it's not uh, like a total different region, although it is day now. It looks quite hot, actually. It might be hot, like in this canyon. The red stones looks like the Grand Canyon a bit. Yeah, it looks like the desert, but those stones though, those this world's alien. Look at the orb with the blue dots. Yeah, I just have to say I, I'm not sure if it's normal that the game looks like this in the shape of uh, it's a little blurry. It might be my computer, maybe um, the game looks better on different settings, maybe, or a different computer, but uh, it might be just a game's gra What is that thing? A snake? Cursor mode unlocked. Okay, I can run. I just have to see what the controls are like. There's a picture mode as well. We can take photos. I'm not going to point and click. And yeah, we can run. Okay, we're now in walking mode and we can set a permanent run. So let's keep it on running. Welcome to Hunrath. Is that like a checkpoint, like a save point? Hunrath. All right, there is a train track leading every which way. This looks like a uh, something from a fairy tale. On the left, we have a, uh, a house and some kind of uh, signal tower. You can see a planet and some freaky red light in the distance. It's a laser. This is so weird. Okay, I'm going towards the house first. This is obviously a dead end. There we have some kind of mine shaft. We'll check that out for a second. Not sure how much open world this will... Okay, what is that? Is this hostile? Is this... Well, this isn't a game where you just shoot enemies, so I, I don't think we're going to be attacked by, by anything nasty. Okay, well, there is a few directions we can go. We can flip this thing, uh, but we won't do that yet because we don't know what it does. There is more of them. Uh, okay, so we can go this way. But yeah, there's another way over there. But let's check out the house first. And just a second, I have to entertain my cat a little bit. She's annoying me. Just have to throw a little toy mouse and then then she'll be fine for a few minutes. Alright, I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. 
Um, okay, we were going to check out the house. Kind of weirdly placed in this uh, world. What is this? Like a dream world? Who built this? Looks all tidied up and stuff. Even the grass is growing here. Some flowers. I consider this a safe point and well. Well, Farley's community center. Do we? CW? C CJ? I kind of forgot what she said uh, or who she was talking to. I'm not sure if it was meant for us, but we'll find out. Hunreth isn't a bad place as I think it is, apparently. Do we enter the house? What is this? Warning. Do not approach anything that even remotely resembles this diagram unless it has been disabled. I'm going to follow up that advice actually. Uh, let's print that in my head. All right, I have it. Some kind of orb. Do we? Uh, can we open it? It's. It looks a little bit locked actually. Yeah, I, I don't think we can open it. I think we need an item for that, um, which we might find somewhere around here, or maybe just somewhere around the world, or not at all. So that means we will have to go explore, unless we can find something over here. Is that a window we can open, for instance? No. There's nothing we can do with this. So there seems to be no other way to go inside that house than through this, the main door. There is nothing in here. Okay, this is fun. Okay, where to go first? Let's go th this way. Let's see where this leads. It's not really like an official path. Looks like a kind of uh, there used to be water here, like a stream. Uh, there isn't like a jumping mechanic, so we just have to fall. Okay, this is a graveyard. Anna Jackson. Is there like a zoom function? Maybe? No. It says something like Daniel Harthall. Margaret Hart Hartnell. Okay, so they're the Hartnell family. No, family. Uh, this has a ribbon. It's all backwards. Can we... Uh, we can't do anything with it. Benjamin Sims. And we have here Henry Hartnell. And there's a laser beam. Okay, so people are have been buried here. Um, there is more over here, so let's check up here. We have here Daniel Hartnell, Hartnell, Carl Hunrath, and John Farley, and Robert Hartnell. Okay, John Farley used to live there, so not anymore. Well, who buried you then? Luther Roscoe we have here, and Ida can read that name. There are two more over here. Mary Hartnell, loved by all, and John Hartnell, beloved husband. All right. Uh, okay, this is weird. <laughs> this is weird. It's like lava or something, or some gooey stuff. Do we even... We can not... No, this is like a hidden wall. Okay, so is the world being taken over by this stuff? Or what the hell is going on here? Looks a bit like Earth, actually. 
let's try to go uh, through the, the shaft here, the mine shaft. It seems to go to... Maybe we just have to clear this stuff somehow in order to proceed. At least we, uh, we have been given uh, limitations to explore. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to touch this again unless I know what it does. I think we have to pick up a train or a minecart somewhere. Um, well, let's go uh, here over a bit. I think this is where the, the gooey stuff is as well, so we might find a wall too. Do we? Maybe we have to follow this this little firefly. Well, it's not very little, is it? Like a giant firefly. Where did we came from, by the way? There. Okay, so this might be the way to go. She might be showing us. I'm not sure why I'm calling it a she. It might be showing us the way. Let's just check over here a bit. This is another dead end. Okay, so I think I'm going to explore this, but that will be next time. I'm wrapping up this first episode. I hope you um, liked this first episode in ways of me playing it and the game itself. And uh, I'm definitely playing more. Like I said, I intend to finish this game. Um, so I hope to see you next time and we'll explore further. Till then, and have a great night or evening or morning, whatever time it is.